When a surgeon chooses to use the Renaissance workstation, he has the capability to pre-plan the implants and take care of any special anatomy. Also, when a minimal invasive approach is chosen, uh, then the length of stay for the patient in the hospital is shorter and the capability of the system to help the surgeon in such a particular approach is great. This is uh, also our pleasure because the surgeons are always asking us to uh, create ways to better help their patients. The approaches are brought to us by the surgeons and then we need to develop the technology to, with the surgeons to give better health care to the patients. So it is uh, a, a great honor for us uh, to develop this kind of technology for better health care and for a better future. The robotic system increases the efficiency of the operation. And um, uh, just for example, the first operation performed in Italy with the robot was uh, just 40 minutes. And of course, in taking into consideration the learning curve, we hope to bring this time down in the future. But uh, the goal of the system is to add efficiency. And in big, complex cases, the robot will assist in decreasing the OR time. We envision that in five to 10 years from now, every patient will look for uh, hospitals and for surgeons that are using robotics technology in their daily practice. It does not mean that surgeon cannot do the procedure without the robot, but it means that it brings the surgery to perfection. We are, we are very happy with the fact that we have our partner in Italy is uh, AB Medica, the distributor. They have a lot of uh, previous experience with placing uh, robotic systems in the Italian field. Um, with the placements that we have in Europe, in Germany, and other places, um, and in the United States, um, we believe that the Italian market is going to be one of the leading markets for robotic uh, surgery. We are very happy with the fact that the first uh, operation have happened in Rome with Dr. Panfili. For us, it's a great start, and we believe that in several years from now, the Italian market is going to be one of the dominated markets of robotic uh, surgeries for spine. In the 21st century, a company can develop the best technology on earth, but when you come to a management, the hospital management or to the, in the, in the national level, the management is always looking for um, cost reduction. That means any technology you bring must improve the economical environment. Otherwise, we can spend more and more and more and the hospital will uh, bankrupt. So a company like ours, and I'm sure that's, uh, that applies to your question to any new technology, you must improve that you have some uh, financial benefits for the medical field. By implementing a robot, you reduce the chances for um, complications. You reduce the amount of revision, revision surgeries. Revision is a big issue. Any revision surgery costs the financial system a lot of money. So by using robots, you reduce the complication rate, you reduce the revision, and most important, you bring the patient back to normal life faster. And this is a great saving to the entire society. 31 gennaio 2013, il caso di oggi è un approccio chirurgico con sistema robotico di discectomia a livello della quinta vertebra lombare e della prima vertebra sacrale. Come potete osservare da queste immagini, c'è una spiccata riduzione dello spazio fra i due corpi vertebrali. L'intenzione di oggi è quella di decomprimere il disco e di asportare quella parte del nucleo discale che come un nuovo altecamino tende a protrudere dentro il canale e andare a comprimere le radici del nervo spinale che ha una componente sensitiva e motoria. Pertanto useremo una tecnica endoscopica senza aprire i tessuti arrivando direttamente sulla finestra operativa senza provocare cicatrici e con un vantaggio emergente che è quello di una rapida dimissione del paziente che in giornata stessa può essere messo in piedi e avviato una dimissione con eh, decorrenze più agili e veloci e senza effetti collaterali. Qua sotto c'è proprio la prominenza sinus.
giochi laterali. The today case is about uh, stabilization L5S1 in an elderly woman about 80 years old and uh, discectomy. So all the performance will be realized through the robotic device by Mazor Abi Medica. And here with me there is a biomedical engineer which will support all the technique during the treatment, during the OR theater. So uh, what are the key points of the treatment that they were performing today with the robotic device? When we make the planning, the anatomy is very important and we review the anatomy. The, with the software and the robot, we can plan to place the implants, the screws, directly only in the bony channel and away from the nerves and also to, to make sure key elements of the anatomy are saved and preserved. You can see the different perspective and with this kind of uh, robotic surgery technique it is possible to guarantee 99.7% of accuracy and it will allow, allow us to meet the patient out of the OR very fastly with no virtually side effects and with lessened cost in the health program. So what else can we see? We can anticipate also the trajectory. The trajectories, we can pre-plan also the implant size. We know exactly what type of tools we will be using in the procedure before the procedure is begin and we can anticipate and prepare in advance. So the key point of the mm, robotic surgery approach is the flight plan then the doctor and the biomedical engineer perform in advance. It will take about 30 to 40 minutes to realize the proper plan which will allow us to be very precise and efficacy uh, during the treatment itself. So we can see a 3D animation which guarantee us to know step by step wherever we are. So you can see with the purple and the orange uh, screw which are the places where the stabilization will be performed. So you can see the sacrum, you can see the vertebra, the lumbar vertebra, and everything is prepared in advance. So the surgery must be uh, very precise, accurate, and we can know in advance wherever we are and when we are going to. Another point of key interest is to be very, very accurate about the sepsis. So the protection, the, the helmet, the dress are very important. So uh, we can perform a better surgery very fast indeed and we very, very fast time of recovery after the surgery. So every step, step by step, is quite precisely monitorized through the robotic device and a complex um, ro um, software just made by the Mazor company, which is a leader company from Israel which developed the system in the world. Io non so posto qua. Metti bene la punta. Ci siamo? Senti? Sentilo? Lo voglio su? Aspetta, aspetta, aspetta. Sentilo bene? No.
Tak. Let me try. Sai attivare il robot proprio sul movimento? Can I close it? Amir, can I close it? And yeah. then you can close your story, yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Perfect. Looks very nice. Yes, sir. Close there. Yes, sir, you can close. Yes. We just want to check if it's uh, freely moving and it's not stuck. Uh, to open, sir, to open. The number of gold. And now the system has acknowledged that it's a good picture. We choose which side the patient. We choose which side the patient is positioned. We have the choose the multidirectional bridge and the station. Choose the vertebra L5. Next level. Great. Now acquisition of information. Loading. Oh, very good. Good quality, right? Best. Bravo al radiologo qua, eh? Maurizio, hai visto bella immagine che hai fatto. Doctor? Certo, ora ti diamo il comunicato. This is an important, if you think about it from the protocol, this is where the human has to control the, the machine. Because the machine gave you a matching. But what the human is right now doing is verifying that the registration of the machine... Now, the incoming information from the 3D tomography is compared with the radiofluoroscopy, which is a evaluation with the x-ray of the spine of the patient on the bed. Nevertheless, it's always the man controlling all the business. So there is an interface between the machine, which is the robotic device, the man which is deciding and properly planning all the single steps of the surgery itself. On the screen, you can see the simulation of the trajectory that we perform during the surgery. And this is the, f the final term of the, of the procedure. Just go on the final image, please. Okay, this is what we want to perform. This is what we want to get at the end of the procedure. Ready? Ready. 3D animation. Okay, very good. Okay. Center, 
Se vuoi di più, ma come lo chiami tu, molti che hanno scritto in scrittura. Dove è il coraggio? Aiutami. Aiuto primo per subire. Now the robot is there, is on the place from uh, where it will move, looking for the different stages, different floor of action. This is the bridge over the robot. Now the robot is working. The flashlight means then is uh, taking the information. <laughs> 